I welcome all to this program Voice of Saints. Today, June 14th, our Holy Catholic Church celebrates the feast of Saint Joseph the Hainographer. Our father among the saints, Joseph the Hainographer, was a monk during 9th century who was a strong defender of the reverence of icons during the iconoclastic period. He is remembered for being a prophet writer of hymns was noted throughout the Paracletic. The future Saint Joseph the Hymnographer was born in Sicily in 860, the son of Plontinus and Agatha, who were Christians. In 830, he and his family moved to Greece to escape the Arab invasions of Sicily. After being brought up by by his parents, he became a monk at the monastery of Latmos in his youth. Due to his pity and love towards God, as a monk, he was praised by Saint Gregory, the Decapolite, who brought Joseph to Constantinople. Together with Saint Gregory, Saint Joseph staunchly defended the reverence of icons and preached his stance to others. This was during the time of iconoclastic heresy in the Orthodox Church in Constantinople where both the Patriarch and the Emperor Leo the Armenian were iconoclasts. Saint Joseph was chosen by the Orthodox monks of Constantinople as a messenger to Pope Leo III, who was still in unity with the Eastern Church. To obtain his assistance during this trip, Joseph was captured by Arab bandits who delivered him to iconoclast for imprisonment. While in prison, he inspired others to stand strong against the heretics. It was also during his imprisonment that Saint Nicholas of Mira appeared to him in vision and asked him to sing in the name of God. After six years of captivity, Saint Joseph was freed from prison. After being freed, he returned to Constantinople, where he founded a monastery dedicated to Saint Gregory, the Capulet, who was no longer living by his death. He also dedicated a church in the name of Apostle Bartholomew, whom he honored greatly. While in strict fasting before the feast of the Apostle Bartholomew, the Apostle appeared to him in a dream and encouraged him to write hymns for the church. After writing his first hymn in honor of Apostle Bartholomew, St. Joseph dedicated other hymns to St. Nicholas, who freed him from prison with Theotokos and other saints. He is credited with composing about a thousand hymns. When the heresy of Iconoclast returned, he again stood steadfast against the movement and was sent to exile in Chelsea for 11 years. Upon his return in 1842, during the reign of Express Theodora, he was appointed keeper of the sacred vessel at the Cathedral of the Holy Islam. But again, he was exiled after de denouncing Barbas, a brother of the Empress, for illicit cohabitation. Joseph returned again to Constantinople in 1867 after Barbas. But when he was at a very old age and ill, the saying was told by the Lord that his life would soon be coming to an end. In response, Saint Joseph prayed intensively until his death, praying for peace for the church and for mercy on his soul. He fell asleep in the Lord around 883. His legacy carries on as many canons in the Menayon and hymns in the Paracletic were composed by Saint Joseph the Hymnographer. On behalf of Saint Fax Association, I wish a happy feast of Saint Joseph the Hymnographer. Amen.